What's going on guys? This is Bills from Achievement Land and this is an achievement review for Farm Together. This game is coming out to the Xbox One this Friday, January 18th for a price of $19.99. It's developed and published by Milkstone Studios. So I wanted to give you guys an early look preview of this game, show you what it's like, uh, go over the achievements, and give you some tips so you're ready for this game when it comes out. This game is awesome. I love it so much. I love these types of games like, uh, you know, Farmville and any type of farming sim games. This is a sim management game, and they really did this game really, really well, I have to say. It was in early access on the PC, and, you know, through the feedback, this game shaped out very nicely. It, there's 16-player online co-op where people can come in your game, and they can do stuff and, you know, harvest in your world and do things for you, and it benefits them. Because they can get a turbo boost and go back into their world and get double experience and stuff. And it's just really well done. It's just so much fun. I love this game. I've been working on this game for the last four days, building my farm. This is my farm right here. Um, you have two different levels. You have a player level and your farm level. This is my whole farm right here. I'm trying to open up the map. You can put uh, fast travel places around. That's all these numbers. Uh, my player level is in the top left. I'm 34, and my farm is 43. I have two houses. The houses take a little bit to build. They take about four days, like three or four days. This right here is like where you do a job. You have to do a job for the achievement. Um, the achievements work awesome in this game as well. You can join other people's worlds and get achievements. Like you can come into my world and go into the house, and you can do the job in my world. And, you know, you could do it very quickly just coming into my world and doing it. Or else it would take about four real days in your in your world. Uh, this game is all real world, uh, real time. So you put things down and it takes time. You can see at the bottom left. It will tell you how long it's going to take. You can put down all different stuff. Roads and there's uh, flowers, fish, trees crops, animals, all different things that you can put down and harvest and maintain. And then you can even go further. You can put these like fruit presses down. This is for the fruit so you can uh, you can get metals or I call them ribbons but they're really called metals. And that's like the rare currency in the game. Um, you have all different stuff to put down. These are the crops. It tells you like how much they cost and how much you'll harvest them for. Uh, when you harvest, you'll get, you know, you'll make some profit, you'll get some XP. These are the trees, same thing. You can harvest them on uh, certain seasons. At the top right, you can see the season. Uh, each season is uh, 17 minutes long. Uh, you get a tractor as well. Instead of uh, going and doing one at a time, like say these trees, instead of going through, it would take forever. You can actually use the tractor on the trees. You can do the tractor on pretty much everything except for the fish. Uh, you got quests. These are missions that you have to do. They just like, you have to make certain things. Be like, oh, I want a certain amount of fish, certain amount of uh, a crop, certain amount of trees. So that's why you want to pretty much plant everything and grow everything, get every type of animal so that you're ready for every mission. So I got all different trees over here, so I got it ready for whenever. And then I got all the fish over here. The fish are really good for making money. Uh, I've been learning a lot from my friend's world. You can uh, make big areas of clownfish are really good. You, make, you get the most for your money with clownfish. But uh, it's good to have all different uh, varieties of fish so that you can do the quests. You have farm hands that you can work for you. They'll go around and do stuff for you. They'll, I have him over here. He's collecting the fish every time they're ready. Um, you can only pay them uh, up to four hours. You have to pay them in tickets. I'll show you how to get the tickets after. He costs two tickets per hour, though. And you can see his range. You can see the square around him. This, uh, these red scorpion fish are just out of range a little bit. So I'm going to make it so that they're in range. So that he'll collect them. You have to put down the fish one by one. You can't use the tractor. It's not in range still. I don't know why. Alright, now I, I wanted to show you guys something else anyway. You can move stuff. 
you click in with the right stick and probably a lot of people didn't notice you can move more than one thing just keep clicking the right stick on things you can move a lot of stuff at once and then you can just uh, hit A somewhere else and you'll see it it's disappearing from where it was and moving over here it's really good you know to be able to move stuff around you can rearrange your farm I've been changing up my farm a lot All right, now it's in range. See, now he's going to take care of these. You can always, uh, if you put down something on X and you want to get rid of something, you recycle it with X. Um, you usually get half your money back. Some things you get all your money back. You know, if it costs like one diamond or one ribbon you'll get one back since you can't get half of one I'm waiting for these angel fish to be done they're gonna be 51 minutes left um there's all these different stands and stuff you can buy to get diamonds diamonds another currency that you gotta make sure you keep getting a lot of it's kinda better to get these bigger ones like this one you need 250 but you get more diamonds uh, this is one of the houses still being built this is my third house like I said it takes real time There's and takes phases it goes you have to do like four phases of 24 hours uh, these are the point of interest that you put down for fast traveling try to put one in all like the main spots like this is my fish area you don't even have to go to a fast travel to do it you can just hit L bumper to show the map and then you can just fast travel from anywhere just from the map you don't have to go to a fast travel to fast travel which is cool uh, these things are very important the fruit press and make sure you put a lot of apple trees down because to get these ribbons uh, the metals like I said you can uh, farm these apple trees a lot and you can do the jam stands it's a really good way to get it it's good to have a lot of apples around too it helps out friends that want to come in your world and uh, get some bonus XP they want to build that boost meter up um, and because apples grow every season so they'll always be ready but yeah so I did that and now I got a ribbon I got a medal now you can see at the top right it shows my money my diamonds my ribbons and my tickets these are crops growing this is yellow pepper you can see it's half an hour if I water it it cuts down the time so if you go around and water them it'll cut down the time these are flowers if you water these, you'll get more uh, XP and money when they finally uh, fully grow. I got all different animals. I got cows over here. Cows are another way to get uh, metals too. You can grow milk and then turn it to cheese and you get a metal every time. So if you want to put a lot of cows down, it might be good. This is the thing to make milk. And this uh, makes the cheese. Once you have 10 cheeses, then you can make a cheese. I mean, once you have 10 milk, then you can make a cheese. Got more animals over here. Donkey, ostriches, horses, pigs. There's so many uh, different variations of each animal, too. There's different types of uh, the rabbits, different types of chickens. There's auto feeders that they don't, I don't know, they're okay, but they don't help out that much. Oh, I'm out of money. Got a farm hand over here, too. You want to really, like, uh, make a lot of space for each area because. You got to put down a lot of stuff and a lot of them because uh, the missions, the quests, they usually ask for a lot of stuff. Um, here you can see I got some sprinklers down. The sprinklers actually cost a little bit. They cost the metal. Like I said, the, the metals are the rarest one. But uh, these sunflowers that I have right now, they're, they take eight hours to harvest. But if you uh, water them constantly, you can cut down the time. So I have these sprinklers on here, and they will cut down the time instantly. They're taking half the time. They'll be done in three hours. So it's really good to put sprinklers down, but they cost one metal each. So that's a lot. 
So you want to make sure you keep doing quests and you keep doing the jam press and you can really get a lot of medals if you uh, if you know what you're doing. Or else you have to go around and water it manually. It really cuts down the time a lot though, it's crazy. These are the gas stations for your tractor, you have to keep filling up gas. As you uh, level up your player level, you can, uh, you'll have more gas and stuff, it will hold more capacity, you'll, it will take longer to run out. You can get this uh, gas station too, it'll fill it up more. Different shops for all the different items. This is another way to get metals, is uh, you can put these honeycombs, I put a lot of them down because they take an hour, I mean an hour, they take a day, 24 hours to uh, give you honey and then you can trade it in. Money trees too, you want to put a lot of money trees down, I'm going to fill this whole area with money trees. Money trees give you diamonds, you need a lot of diamonds. This is an achievement for 50,000 diamonds, you can get them in your world or other people's world so doesn't matter but you need them to open up your world to not open up the different areas so make sure you're uh, farming diamonds and putting them down and getting them constantly you can run faster on paths so if you want to put down roads you can run faster on them alright let me show you my other area over here this is all flowers on, on this side Oh, I actually have a quest for flowers. I need 50 of them. I gotta put down more flowers. You really want to put a lot down of each thing so that when you have missions, you know, like those flowers could take a long time. And if I only have half of them done, then, you know, it's a really long quest. You can skip some quests too, you, but they take like you skip and then you have to wait a day before you can skip another one. Um, you can open up, you have to open up all the areas of the map, and they cost diamonds to do it. You can see all the areas I have open and that I need open. And like I said, it, it takes, we think, uh, level 70 that you have to get it to the, open up all the areas. Which will take a while. It's a lot of work to do. Um, over here is uh, the pawn shop. Which is good for getting the tickets and uh, ribbons if you want, or medals, whatever. Um, use you get these gold nuggets just just by farming and harvesting. You'll get them randomly, and then you can just spend them on stuff. You really only want to spend them on the tickets and and the medals. All right. Um, you can customize your farmer as you level up you'll get new stuff as well you get an achievement for customizing your farmer and your tractor you can change all different stuff you unlock different clothes as you level up different hairstyles different face uh, features the crazy eyes uh, different hats this is all your player level not your farm level they have to level up for this these backpacks, which I never use. Oops. You can uh, get new emotes too. You unlock new ones as you level up. Clapping and waving. No, no, no. Not in my farm. <laughs> Who the man? The emotes are really cool though. I love them. Alright, uh, tractor, you unlock different tractors, they don't do much, it's all a cosmetic. It's like the paint job and stuff. They can change your, uh, antenna. I gotta put back on the coin, like, what am I doing? You can get pets, dogs and cats. Different collars. Change the size, the eye color. And then farm hands, you just change their outfits. That's it. 
All right, so when it comes to your form, you can uh, make different forms. Go to my forms and you can either uh, play this game local, private, or public. Public is when people can just join in. It's good to have it public. It's good to have people in your world. Uh, they can come in and they can harvest your stuff for you and they can earn you know, bonus XP for themselves when they go back in their world. Private, if you want to do stuff. Sometimes you need to put on private. Like, if you get bonus XP, it's better if you're in your world by yourself. Uh, you can, get, you can uh, use the bonus XP and the double XP to the max. You can change permissions for friends and guests. Harvest or plant and harvest. What do you want to do? It's best to probably leave it on just harvest because then they can water and harvest and not spend any of your money. You can join, uh, go to find farms, just whatever farms are open You can that are in public. You can just join in them. This is my friend's world. We've been playing together, helping each other out. Um, like I said, you can get a lot of achievements in other people's worlds. Uh, a really good thing to do is uh, the diamond trees. That's what I've been doing in my friend's world. Uh, you can only get them during the winter season. That's when they're ready to grow. Right now, they're ready to grow. Perfect timing. And you just go around and this will be uh, towards a, a bunch of stuff, you know. You'll get uh, the diamond achievement and you also get the plowing achievement. And it's so awesome with the leveling, how it works too. Like uh, if you're in someone else's world, like right now he's, his farm is 63. And you can see how much it leveled up by the bar around it. It's more than halfway. He's up to 64. And if you're in his world, while he goes to 64, you'll get all the level achievements. You'll get leveling your farm up to 10, 20, and 40. You'll get all those achievements. So it's really cool how the achievements work in this game. So really, sh it's a big shout out to the devs. They're awesome. I think other game developers need to take notice. <laughs> like, this game is so well done. Like, with the achievements, with the co-op, with the online multiplayer, and... It's like so quick and easy to go in and out of people's worlds. Like the loading times are so short. I love it. You just go in and out of people's worlds so quickly. They really did an awesome job with this game. And it's just, it's only an indie game. And it's only $20. This game is so, they they deserve the money for this game. It's so, like, I, I'm so happy about this game. There needs to be more games like this. This is such a great game. I've been so addicted to this game. It's definitely an awesome game. Uh, but yeah. So right now I'm just getting these diamonds in my friend's world. Uh, and also at the top left, you'll see that lightning bolt. That's the double XP, the boost bar. Depending on what you do, it'll go up faster. It goes up slow with these, but these are really important. I'm trying to get this diamond achievement. <laughs> Here's uh, Carnage running around in, <laughs> in here too. You can uh, use your emotes. Wave to people or do whatever. <laughs> He's working hard in here. That's another thing too with the uh, the camera. You can zoom in and out. It's way better to do the zoom out in my opinion. But yeah, go in other people's worlds and uh, harvest their stuff for them. Make sure when you harvest, press A to harvest. You know all of them, and then press A again to. Uh, fill off the plot because that gives you XP and everything as well and builds up your boost bar so my boost bar is fully uh, filled now so I'm gonna exit out of this world and I'm gonna go into my world go to my farm and now I'm going to have uh, double XP double money and everything and it's for 16 minutes the higher your player level the higher um, the bonus time will be and of course how much you fill it you can go in and like fill up halfway and then you'll have like you know five minutes or whatever but you fill it up you get an achievement for filling it up and also you'll have more time with uh, double XP it's really good especially like if you set it up right you know you have all your plants ready to go or your flowers like these things will give you a lot of XP see I just leveled up <laughs> it's really a good way to level up fast that's why my friend leveled up uh, faster than me because uh, I was slacking on doing the double XP. But I was just leaving my world open so other people can benefit. 
which is really cool that you can just leave your world open and you're helping other people and they're helping you by uh, harvesting your stuff. Make sure you uh, really utilize this uh, double XP and do it, you know, fish and pick up your crops. You can put them down and then when they're uh, ready, you can join in. The thing that's cool too is uh, it will save it too. So I have 11 minutes. I can quit out and when I come back, I'll still have 11 minutes. So if my plants aren't ready, I can save my XP for when it's time. All right, so let's go over the achievements. Um, I have a lot of them done already. Customize your farmer. Uh, that's, you know, I showed you how to do that. Customize your tractor. You'll get those achievements for that. Plant your first crop. Plant your first tree. Open the photo mode. When you're in the game, just hit start and go to photo mode. Build your first shop. That's those things where you get diamonds from. First quest. You'll do that right at the beginning. You have to do that in the tutorial. Buy your first animal. Place your first fish pond. All easy stuff. Play your first, place your first uh, flower. Your first fuel pump. The tutorial. The tutorial takes a little bit. It's a. Uh, you have to do some stuff. You have to do uh, two missions, and then you unlock the tractor, and that's when you'll finish the tutorial. So, uh, if you skip it as well, you have to go to the settings and reset the tutorial so you can do it again. Uh, reach level five in your form. Uh, like I said, you can uh, unlock these achievements in other people's forms. If they're higher than the level, and then they go to the next level, it will pop for you. Uh, but yeah, you can uh, play your own farm and reach up uh, your farm. You have, like I said, there's two different levels. You have your farm level and then you have your player level. So you have to get your farm level up pretty high to unlock all the levels, all the expansions. You get an achievement for unlocking the first expansion and then you have to unlock all the expansions, which we think is level 70 in your farm. Join another player's farm, just, you know, like I showed you, just join. Reach player five. I think you only have to reach ten for the achievement, but it's better to get keep getting higher level. You get better experience, uh, better point, better money. You know, there's a lot more benefits from leveling up, and you can level up in other people's farms. Get a tree. You have to level up a tree and a crop. You'll be doing that anyway as you play. Fish from. Uh, just make a pond that has 15 tiles, and then fish from it. Put different animals together, and this will pop. Uh, it's very easy to do. Reach level 10 in your farm. Reach level 10 in a crop. Reach player level 10. It's cool that you got these crops and stuff level up because you'll get more money from them as they level up. Takes a while though. Fill your vo uh, visit farm boost mirror. That's what I just showed you by going into someone else's farm and that turbo bar at the top left. Uh, some decorations you can put down you can interact with. Like uh the benches and the fountain you can sit on. Ten uh, complete ten quests. You'll be doing a lot of quests, hopefully. Build a decoration. Build a feeder. Uh, build a point of interest. These take those metals, so it might take a little bit, but it doesn't not that many of them. Uh, this you have to build a um, hundred tile for chickens and ducks. Just make a big area for it. Uh, I had one in mind. You can actually get the achievement in my world if you want, but it's very easy to do. Just try to do the outside rim of it, count it out and do the outer rim and leave the middle empty and work your way in the middle and it should pop before you fill it in. Reach level 20 in your farm. Harvest 10,000 items. You'll get this. You don't, It doesn't have to be just in your farm. Like I said, you can do it in anyone's farm. This achievement as well. For walking, uh, earn 10 million coins from farming. You can get that, like I said, in other people's world. Enter a house. Takes a long time to make one. You can just join someone else's world that has one and enter a house. It's a lot better. Inside the house, you can do a job. And also, you can uh, put down decorations for another achievement. I recommend just going into someone's world and just going in the house instead of building one. It's up to you. Like I said, it takes a while. So if you're going to be playing a while, then definitely put down the house. Uh, reach level 40, place 25 decorations. You don't have to actually place 25 around. I put the one down and got rid of it, put it down, got rid of it. It's up to you. I'm going to eventually decorate my house, but right now, no. Complete a job. The best one to do is uh, painting. You have to do a couple sessions of it. Um, 500 medals is the medals, ribbons, whatever. The one I was telling you about that you need a lot of. You can actually keep putting down a sprinkler, put it down, and then delete it, and then put it down and delete it. And that will get this achievement. 
It's an easy way of getting it, or else that will take a long time. Use your tractor for 100,000 tiles. You're going to be getting this as you play. I'm almost there. I'm very close. 50,000 diamonds. That's why make sure you put down a money tree so you're getting a lot of diamonds. Build a total of 1,000 uh, decorations, roads, or fences. You can put down fences, roads, or whatever, and just put it down and delete it, put it down. We've been doing barrels. That's like the best one we thought. Plow a total of 50,000 tiles. It's going to take a while, but you can just keep doing the same spot, like plowing the ground and then deleting it and plowing the ground. Unlock all farm expansions. This is the one we said it's going to take a while. Got to get really high level. Um, you could... We, we're going to see if you can get it in someone else's world as they pop it, but... It's only like a one-time thing as they do it, so who knows? Maybe if you join some world that has it already. Fingers crossed. Then this one, load a farm a month after it was created. I'm not sure if that will work offline or not, but I'm a little worried to try it yet. So I'll wait till I have all the achievements. Or I might just wait the month, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I really do like this game a lot, and it's going to be out Friday for $19.99. It's definitely worth the price. Um, oh, yeah, one more thing I wanted to show you guys that I really like about this game, too, is the, the sign-in book, the guest book. When you go to someone's world, you can put down a guest book, and uh, people can come in and sign it. And they have all these different things that you can pick and write in it. So it's been cool having all these people come to my world helping out and signing my guest book. So if you do end up picking up this game, make sure you uh, come drop by my world and sign my guest book. And uh, do some farming while you're here. Get to work. <laughs> but uh, that's going to be it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. This game will be out January 18, 2019 for a price of $19.99. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next video here at Achievement Land.